hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're learning how to make this simple pencil sketch so if you also love the blouse i'm putting on check the description box the link will be there so i also want to use this opportunity to thank two lovely souls that actually tagged me to the tutorial they recruited i really appreciate it i love you guys so let's get into it so today we're learning how to draw fitted basic skates so i'm just going to create a guideline Okay, so I don't have any inches in mind. I'm just creating a guideline. Then I'm going to use this part as my front. Then I'm going to use this side as my back. Okay, guys, so this is it. So this is going to be our waistline. So what you're going to do from this point, you are going to divide your round waist circumference by 4. My round waist circumference is 28, so divide by 4. Is going to give me seven inch so I'm going to go add by seven inches so after doing that what I'm going to do I'm going to measure from my waist to my hip line so I usually use nine inches so guys after marking what I'm going to do for this style I'm printing I'm going to use 27 inches as my full length so I'm going to mark 27 inches here So when you come over to your hip, what you are going to do, you are going to minus your back arc from your round hip circumference, okay? So I'm going to share with us how we are going to take that measurement on the description box. So your back arc is like you taking half of your hip circumference. For me, the hip I'm using is 40 and my back arc is 22. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to minus my back arc from my round hip circumference, okay? So the round hip circumference, like I said, I'm using is 40 and then my back arc is 22. So it's going to be to, uh, 40 minus 22. So I'll be left with 18 inches. I'm going to divide 18 by 2, which is going to give me 9. So I'm going to go in by 9 inches. So guys, hope this is clear. So after doing that, I'm going to go ahead and then create my hip line. Okay, guys, so after connecting, so whatever you have here, remember what I mark here is 9 inches. So I'm also going to bring the same measurement to my knee line guys about the dart is actually a matter of choice if you if you want to you can put in your dart if you don't like you can for me i'm not going to use that so you're going to come over here at the center front go in by half inch so go in by half inch and then connect it straight like this okay so this is now our new waistline we are going to come over to the back now so guys i'm going to use this point as my center part so what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all create space for my zipper allowance. So I'm just going to mark out one and a half inch. Remember this is also our waistline. Okay, so what you are going to do, whatever your round waist circumference is, remember this is where we are starting from. So this space is for our zipper allowance. So my waist circumference is 28, so 28 divided by 4 is going to give me 7 inch. So I'm going to go in by 7 inch. So after marking my 7 inch, so just like I did at the front, I'm also going to come down by 9 inches. I'm also going to go ahead and then measure my waist to new. So my waist to new is 24, but for my full length, I'm actually using 7 inch, 27 inches. So I'm going to mark 27 inches. So for the hip, you are going to come over to the hip and then you are going to impute your back arc. Okay, so like I said, back arc is like you taking half of your hip circumference. So go over to your back, place your tape on one side of your hip and then take it to the other side of your hip also, okay? So whatever it is, you are going to divide that by 2. So mine is 22. So 22 divided by 2 is going to give me 11 inch. So I'm going to go in by 11 inch at this point. So guys, hope this is clear. Hope this is not confusing. So whatever you have here, you are also going to transfer it to your full length. Okay, remember this is my full length, which is 27. We are yet to actually mark our knee line. So just go ahead and mark out your waist to knee. My waist to knee is 24. So I'm going to go ahead and mark out my waist to knee, which is 24 inches. I'm going to do the same thing with the fronts. So I'm also going to mark out my when you are doing your waist to knee, don't start with the half inch you actually measure. No, please start from your normal waistline 24, and then this is my 24, which is my knee line. 
in line then this is our full length don't forget so this is it we are going to do a little calculation as you can see if you look at this pattern very well you see that our hip line at the back is actually bigger than our hip line at the front it's actually to accommodate your butts at the back so hope this is clear so what we are going to do now you are going to measure your round knee circumference so when you are taking your round knee circumference do well to try to work so that we are actually doing this so that your skirt will not be too tight and down so that at least you'll be able to walk freely my knee circumference my round knee circumference is 27 so the formula for calculating this for imputing this round knee is your round knee circumference plus six whatever you have as your running circumference you are going to add six inches to it so this six inches is constant so 27 plus six is going to give me 33 inches okay so this is clear so this 33 inches what i'm going to do i'm going to divide it by two so whatever you have go ahead and then divide it by two so 33 divided by two is going to give me it's going to give me 16.4 okay that's 16 and a half inch so I don't want you to be confused because I'm writing 16.4. So I usually use my tape. So this is 16 inches and then this is one, two, three, four. Okay. So there's nothing to be confused about. This is six and a half inch. I know you guys write it as 6.5. It's actually the same thing. Okay. So I'm just using tape points. I don't want you to be confused here. So what you're going to do, you're going to come over to your knee line. So what you have, what you have here is nine inches. As you can see so this is nine inches so i'm going to write it down as nine inches then plus i'm going to come over to the back i'm also going to add this together okay remember what to mark at the back was 11 so i'm also going to write it down as 11. so 9 plus 11 is going to give us 20 inches so this is clear so this is now remember this measurement was the one we got from ourselves the one we measured on ourselves so we are going to label it as natural new so i'm using nk to represent that then this nine this nine plus eleven is the one we got from part from our pattern new remember this nine inches is from the front thing and then the eleven is from the back new so what we are going to do we are going to label it as pattern new so use p and k to represent it okay so pattern the natural knee so what you are going to do now remember what we got from the natural knee is 16 and a half inch and then what we got from the the pattern knee is 20 inches so what we are going to do now you are going to say pk because remember this is 16 and a half this is 20 now obviously 20 and a half is bigger than i want you to understand something so it's not a must that your pattern knee will be bigger than your natural knee so it actually depends this can be bigger than this this can be higher than this so whichever one that is higher minus the smaller one from it hope this is clear so this says pk is bigger than the natural knee what i'm going to do i'm going to say pk which is 20 inches minus nk which is 16 and a half inch okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to minus this from this so 20 inches minus 16 and a half inch so this is 20 inches this is 20 inches this is 16 this is half inch okay so this is 16 and a half inch so all i need to do now from here to here is one inch from here to here is one inch that is two inch from here to here is one inch that is three inches we'll be left with half inch okay so that is what we have left now is three and a half inch so i'm going to use 3.4 to represent that you can write your 3.5 no problem it's the same thing that's just know that this three and a half inch this is how i write my my half inch okay because i usually use tape calculation instead of calculator so what we are going to do now is we are going to divide this by three so whatever you have go ahead and divide it by three we are creating a fitted pencil skirt so what we are going to do we are going to give these points the higher share this point is going to take the higher share also and then this point is going to take the smaller share remember this is our center back okay so this is where your butt the back of your butt will be sitting and remember this point after after you have your butt at your center back you have there is this deepness that we have here so that is what we are actually trying to shape here so that by the time you wear everything it will sit well like this space and this excesses you have here we are going to take it off so what we are going to do now remember this three and a half inch so we are going to mark one and a half inch here so like i said whatever you have you can have five inch if you have five inch mark two inches here mark two inches here inches here and then mark one inch here if you have four 
mark one and a half inches here, mark one and a half inches here, and then mark one inch here. So whatever you have, this place, this point and this point should have the higher share. So whatever is left, the remainder is what you are going to impute here. So like I said, this is 3.4. So I'm going to mark one and a half inch here. And so when you are done, come over here. So when you are done marking your one and a half inch here, you are going to come over to your hip line, and then you are going to come down by one and a half inch. Come over to your hip line, come down by one and a half inch. Hope this is clear. So I'm marking one and a half inch. And so remember, this is our knee line. We are not going to mark it on your full length. Sorry for this. It's not our, we are not marking it on our full length. We are marking it on our knee line. Sorry about that. This is where we are supposed to mark it. So you are going to mark your one and a half inch on your knee line, okay? Not your full length. On your knee line. Mark it on your knee line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it direct to my one and a half inch like this. Okay, so just take it to your one and a half inch. So hope this is clear. So when you are done doing that, you're going to come over to this other side. Remember, whatever you mark here is what you are going to mark here. So go ahead and then also mark your one and a half inch here. And then come over here, just like we did at the front, come down by one and a half inch. Okay, so after creating a stretch line, just like we did at the front, we are also going to connect a straight line like so to meet the one and a half inch here. Okay, so after doing that, what we are going to do, remember one, one and a half inch plus one and a half inch is three inch, and what we have here is 3.4, that is three and a half inch. So the 0 0.4 I have now, I'm going to mark it here, okay? So this is our half inch. Remember this is one, two, three, four. This is our half inch. So like I said, I usually use my tape for calculation. That is why you hear me calling 3.4. I know you guys, to you is 3.5, it's still the same thing. Half inches is half inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to impute my half inch. And then I'm going to take my curvula. So watch how I'm going to place this curvula. So try as much, in as much as you are trying to reduce, remove excesses from here, you need to be careful so that you won't end up making it too tight. Okay, so don't keep your tape like this. If you keep your tape like this, imagine what you are taking out from this point. So the space you have here is not up to this. So at the end of the day, your, your skirt might actually be a little bit too tight that you find it difficult to walk. Hope this is clear. So watch what you are going to do. Just place your tape. So just place your ruler, sorry, not stay, place your ruler like this, okay? So whatever you are doing, just make sure you are not taking off too much excesses, okay? So place your ruler like this and then connect it like this. Okay, so guys, so hope this is clear. So when you are done with that, remember what we usually do, we are going to come over here, you are going to go in by half inch, okay? So the usual way to avoid having bulge, we are also going to take that off. And then you are going to take your ruler, your curve ruler. Also try as much as possible not to make it too deep. Okay, and then go ahead and then connect also like this. Okay, so hope this is clear. So all you need to do now is to take this down. Okay, so whatever you have now, take it down to your full length. So whatever you have, just take everything down to your full length. So we are going to impute our allowance, okay? So for sewing allowance, watch what I'm going to do. We are going to start adding your allowance from this point. Okay, so this is it for the back. So come over at the top. You are also going to add half inch. So we are also, by the side, you are also going to add one inch sewing allowance. Remember, this is what we are using. So this is what you are using. So that is, this is the line you are using to add your one inch allowance because you don't have any business with the other side. So this is it for, this is it for the back. So let's first of all cut out the back piece before adding allowance for the front. Okay, so this is it for our back pattern. So I'm going to set it aside and then you're going to come over to the front. So remember we went in by half inch at the center front. So you're going to go out from that point by half inches as your sewing allowance. And then at the side, you're also going to add one inch as your allowance for sewing. So this is it for the front. 
I'm going to go ahead and then cut out. Okay, so this is it for the front and then this is it for the back pattern okay so hope this is clear so guys the skirt i'm putting on you realize that i actually have something at the down part so we are going to go ahead and then do that so we are going to style it down for the front so guys we are going to start the front so bring in your front pattern remember this is our knee line so what you're going to do from your knee line you are going to go out by three inches So what I want you to do, I want you to do something like this, okay, so label this point as up and then label this point as down, okay, so hope this is clear, so do the same thing with this piece, label here as, sorry, label this point as down and then label this point as up, okay, so this is actually to avoid confusion because of the style we are about to create, so come over here, cut out, to went up with this three inch come over here also cut out okay so hope this is clear so remember these are full length so remember these are full length so label this also as one and then label this also as two so that you know that this one actually comes before this okay so i'm going to label also label here as side and then label here as center front okay so like i said this is actually to avoid confusion so what you're going to do put this with this and then pin it together okay secure it very well just keep it very well and set it aside so you are going to bring in a fresh pattern paper place it on fold bring this in okay make sure the center point is aligning so just take your marker and then create and then just rule out the line like this. Okay, so just rule it, like, rule it out. So when you are done, take this off. So I am going to use my ruler now. Okay, so just like it is here, do the same thing. Just go ahead and then cut out. So just open it up. Okay, so this is what we'll be having. So what we are going to do with this piece, remember this is it on foot. This is the center line. So from this center line, just create a straight line. What you're going to do, I'm going to mark one and a half inch here, one and a half inch on the other side. So Remember, this is it. This is one and a half. This is three inch. So mark one and a half here. Then mark your three inch here. So come over the down also. Mark one and a half here. And then one and a half plus one and a half is three inch. Then mark three inches here. So what you're going to do, take your ruler, create a straight line. Okay. So what you're going to do, you're also going to mark one and a half inch like this. Come over here also mark one and a half inch like this and then go ahead also create a straight line okay so when you're done doing that so the design i have is what we are going to create we are going to create something like petals here so just carefully i'm just going to carefully i'm going to use pencil so i can erase any time so we are going to create something like this Though this is too small, so I'm just showing us example. So I I'm going to also erase this because I'm going to erase it and fix it well. So I'm just showing us example. So this is what we are going to create. We are going to create something like this round it. Okay, I think it's actually okay. okay guys so um i don't know maybe i will leave it i will leave it like this i can just make a little adjustment okay so i'll leave it like this so this is what we are actually going to create 
okay guys so this is it so when you're done you are also going to do the same thing here mark three inches and then create a straight line okay so after creating a straight line come over to the down also mark one and a half inch mark one and a half inch And then go ahead, also connect the straight line like this. And then also mark one and a half inch here. Mark one and a half inch here. And then connect a straight line also. So the same thing we did here is what we are also going to do here. So guys, like I said, I'm not good with sketching. I know how to sketch digitally, but with hand, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to use free hand. So just carefully create your, carefully create your petals. Okay. So just carefully, you can actually do better than me if you are good with this. Okay, so you can actually do better than me. So I'm also going to do the same thing here. So I'm actually using pencil so that I can erase. Okay, so as you can, I don't like the way this one is, so I'm going to correct this. So use pencil, okay, so that you can actually erase. If you don't like what you're seeing, just erase it and then fix it. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do next, I'm also going to do the same thing here. So guys, this side, this part we have left, we will come back to this, okay? So just leave it out for now, we'll come back to this. So you are going to come over here, the same thing we did here, just go ahead and do the same thing, mark your three inch, just as we did here, do the same thing with this side. so guys so i am done with this so this is it because of how we are going to place this we are not going to leave it like this okay so just take note of where your main pattern stops okay so just take note of where it stopped at this point and then take note of where it stopped at this point so we are going to add extra paper at both sides and then we are going to also add this to that point and then add it to that point so when we are done sewing we can cut off the excesses so all this is here so i'm going to repeat another fresh paper here this is where our measurement store so we are trying to create another piece for both ends so that we'll actually use it to join side by side so maybe when we are sewing you understand what i'm saying so this is where this stop so what you're going to do just add extra three inches remember it was three inches we are using before add extra three inches so guys so this is it so remember like i said note the point where your measurement stop so this is where my measurement stop let me use my okay so just note the point where your measurement stop and then once you are going to do cut this excess off so and then i'm going to come over here so also note where your main measurement stop so from this point also mark three inches remember you are starting from here so also mark three inches out from this point
guys so this is it so i'm also going to cut off this excess okay so this is it we are going to go ahead and then cut out on our fabric so don't forget to add your one inch for hemming so this is it so we are going to set it aside so at the down here you are going to add half an inch So this is it. I'm also going to set it aside. Okay, so bring this in. Remember, this is the center front and then this is the... Remember, this is the center front. You're also going to place it like this. So add half inch at the upper part. And then come over at the down, add one inch. I'm going to show us the next step. So I went ahead to cut out this piece. Okay, so it's actually five inches. So it's actually five inches. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and then sew it on fold. Okay, so I'm going to sew it. So when I'm done sewing, I will pleat. The width is okay. So what I have here is um, fifty and half inch depends on the fullness you want to have i might not actually finish everything okay so this is the second one so this is five five inch i cut this into two it's actually into two so i'm going to sew and pleat this and then i'll sew and pleat this, and then i'll bring it back so i also cut out um strap okay it's actually one one inch so this is one one inch so the length actually depends Okay, so you can cut that whatever length you want. Okay, so this is 27, 27 inches. So I have about have about six here. So it actually depends. So what you are going to do with this strap, you are going to go back to your machine. Okay, and then you are going to fold in, fold in, and then just sew. Okay, fold both edge in and then sew. I'm going to go back to my machine and do that and then I'll bring it back. So guys, so this is it after sewing. So after sewing, I went ahead to iron. So this is it. And then this is also it for this other piece. There is no need of turning. So this is it for this piece. So I'm going to set both aside now and bring in this. Okay, so for this, what we are going to do. So just like we created this, we are going to sew this around it. So you are going to go back to your machine. So you are going to go back to your machine. Okay, so just carefully join it around.
Okay, so guys, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to go back to your machine. So just like I pass it around this sketch that we have, so that is what you're going to do. You're going to go back to your machine and then do the same thing, okay? So just pass it around and so, pass it around and so. So just make sure you follow this sketch accurately, okay? So I'll go over to my machine and do that and then I'll bring it back. So guys, so this is it after sewing, okay? So this is it after sewing. So what you're going to do, you're going to bring in your center front. Okay, so this is my center front. Okay, remember we have two center front. We also cut out this for the down. Okay, so this is the down part. Remember this on fold. So what you are going to do now? So you are going to take this and then we are going to fix it on the wrong side. So pin it down on the wrong side. You are going to go over to your machine and then you are going to sew it on the wrong side. Okay, sew this on the wrong side. So when we are done sewing, we are going to turn it over to the right side. So let's go ahead and sew first. Okay, so all you need to do now is to go ahead and then sew on the wrong side. So you are also going to come over here. Remember, I asked us to have this arrow so that we will we'll be able to differentiate the up and the down. So this is the upper part, this is the down part. So I'm going to take this off now. And then I'm also going to do the same thing with this. I'm also going to do the same thing with this. So also do the same thing, join it to the wrong side like this. So go back to your machine and join, and then go back to your machine and join. So I'll go over to my machine and then I'll sew and then I'll bring it back. So guys, this is it after sewing. Okay, so this is it, and then this is it. Remember, I asked us to sew it on the wrong side. So what you are going to do now, you are going to turn it to the right side. Okay, so just watch what I'm doing. You are going to turn it to the right side, and then you are going to fold it in like this. Okay, so guys, so to be on the safer side, what you are going to do, you are going to trim this off a little, okay? So the, the allowance used in joining, you are going to trim it off a little. Okay, so this is it. So you are going to turn it this way. Okay, so turn it like this. And then you are going to go back to your machine and then you are going to top stitch. Okay, so just go back to your machine and then top stitch. going to go through to your machine and then we are going to top stitch it at the right side okay so top stitch it to the right side also come over here so also come over here fold it also to the right side okay so fold it also to the right side and then top stitch okay so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back guys so this is it for both pieces after sewing okay so after sewing this is it so just turn it to the right side like this okay so this is it turn it to the right side okay remember we already top stitch so what you are going to do now you're going to bring this in okay so remember this is my arrow my paper i've actually torn so this is the up this is the down so what you're going to do now you're going to go back to your machine and then you're going to place it like this okay so just the same thing you use in top stitching your stitch on it like that okay to the end and then come over here, do the same thing, okay? The same thing you use in, in stitching, top stitching. Also use it and then top stitch on it, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll bring it back. Okay. So guys, this is it after sewing. Okay, so this is what we'll be having. So what we are going to do now, I'm just going to trim off this excess here. Okay. So what you're going to do, bring your back piece going to do so you're going to join it right side facing the right side like this and then you are also going to join the right side facing the right side like this so go ahead and pin down we are going to go back to your machine at this point join by one inch and then come over here join by one inch okay so i'll go ahead and do that and then i'll bring it back so guys so guys this is it after joining okay so this is it so i already joined on both sides by one inch so this is what you will be having so if you actually experience this like a little difference at the back 
just go ahead and then trim off okay so if you experience this a little difference just trim off and then come over here just carefully remove this paper if you have if you have um stone or pets whatever you have just use it to style this place like you are trying to cover your this thing using attaching it okay so you can actually add pairs or stone whatever you have to actually design it at this point all you need to do now is to go ahead and fix your band so after fixing your band then go ahead and then fix your zip okay so i'll go ahead and do the same and then i'll share the finished look with us so thank you so much for watching